was 20 past 6 in the morning and there's a first day of the French Camino. Uh, I'm just gonna have a breakfast and start walking. And that really wasn't good because we had one terrible snore. So I woke up like at 1 a.m. and just couldn't fall asleep so I had to put on my earphones and just switch on the music. Yes, um, I didn't really have good sleep last night. A very early morning, before 7. Uh, you can see it's still dark. Uh, a couple of occasional pilgrims already walking. And I'm just gonna head as well. Today I'm walking to Orontes Valles, and you know that it's supposed to be one of the toughest day on the Camino, on the Camino Frances, because, um, well, it's like over a thousand meters up and then like 500 meters down. And it's the first day and the backpack feels very heavy. Well, I hope I'll make it. Uh, five and a half kilometers down. And it's been up and up and up. I'm just out of breath. And I think there is still more upcoming. There is definitely more upcoming. And finally, we're turning off from the tar road to the gravel. Ten kilometers done. It's still about fourteen kilometers to go. And well, as I said, it well, it's been just uphill all the time. Well, <laughs> I must say I'm getting used to it. The first two hours are really tough for me, but now I'm getting into it, and surprisingly, it's getting easier. Well, the French part of the Camino Frances from Saint John is marked with this. Uh, white and red stripes, not with arrows. Well, <laughs> I don't know why, yes, but it is. I'm halfway for the day, 12 and a half kilometers. I'm still really going strong, and it's so strange because actually I feel stronger and better and better. And I think I'm just so excited to be again back on the Camino that it gives me strength, and every next kilometers it feels it's easier to walk than the previous one. Yeah, unfortunately, it is so overcast, I uh, can't really see much, but I can see many people. Yeah, it's been like this all the way for almost three hours since I left. Uh, just people, people, people everywhere. It's a nice stop at 14 and a half kilometers. I'm not really hungry, so I just want to keep walking. People walking in the opposite direction <laughs> just <laughs> told me that it's about 15 more minutes of going up and where I'm at the top and then I'll start my descent all the way to Ronsis Vyas. Uh, here I am at the top of the pass. I think from here we start going down. Yes. Well, you know. Uh, last 20 minutes were really quite tough. <laughs> I'm so tired. I just, I just couldn't wait to get to the top. And now uh, I'm really happy. And the scenery is amazing. Just look at this. It cleared up a little bit. It was really overcast. Couldn't see much. But now it's so beautiful. Wow. Oh. Uh, so we arrived in the public albergue Colliata in Ronces Valles and we actually did quite well today. It took us five and a half hours uh, to get from San John. Yeah, 
now we arrived early, but we could check in already and we got our beds, so the beds are booked for us. Now we're just resting and taking off the shoes is the best treat you can have after a long day of walking in the Camino. It's almost time for the albergue to open. You can see now everybody caught up with us and everybody is here waiting. Well, I'm right now in the albergue in Roncesvalles, the famous albergue. It's huge, it has 200 beds. I think it may be the biggest albergue on the French Camino or maybe on any Camino. And I just want to show you around how it looks. Actually, it looks much better than we expected. We expected to find the one big room with 200 beds, but there are many rooms and beds that are really nice and comfortable. So I just let's just go and see how it looks. So this is the reception area. Where you check in? The bed's actually quite nice. Like, see, so on this side, there are like four beds, with cubicles, with four, with two bunk beds each. So in every dormitory has ladies and the men shower and toilets. Then a really big, it's like three toilets and three showers. My everything is nice and new. So is the shower. And at the, at the bottom floor, there is an area with washing machines and uh, basins for washing. So you can do hand washing, it's free, or you can wash your stuff, your clothes in the washing machine, and it costs three and a half euro. So we are heading to the mass. It is at 6 p.m. at the church. On any Camino, we were walking up at 6 with a Gregorian choir music and the lights went on at 6 and since there is nothing else to do and it took me like 20 minutes to pack and brush my teeth so I'm starting walking at 6.30 and you can see it's still really dark So, 3 kilometers uh, Walking through this nice little town, Borghete. I think it's still very early, so nothing is open. <laughs> but the town is quite nice. <laughs> so it's a really <laughs> small, uh, cozy village on the, on the way. But I think, unfortunately, there's just a couple of houses, not a coffee shop or a restaurant. I've been walking for uh, for an hour and 20 minutes, and I haven't had a coffee or breakfast yet. I hope for the best. Uh, almost every restaurant or bar on the way has its own stamp, so you can see you just if you stop somewhere, you can always take a stamp and put an extra stamp in your delivery response for it. And here it is.
I have about four more kilometers to go to Subiri. That's the, I think, the most popular end for, for the second day. But I think I will be there really early, before 12. And I think I'm just going to keep walking, maybe mm, two or three more kilometers to the next place. Well, after 22 kilometers and four hours and 20 minutes, I arrived in Subiri. This is a really nice town. It's a beautiful bridge. And there is a public albergue here and a couple of private. But, well, I think it's a little bit early for me to stop while I'm planning to maybe just stop for lunch here and then keep walking. Well, at the end I decided to stop in Subiri. I found a really nice guest house, so I'm staying private today, kind of fancy. And, well, uh, I was recommended to have this as a typical kind of chorizo, the sausage from here. Uh, well, I was recommended to try it. I'm going to try it now. As I said, I decided to stop in Subiri. I actually was planning to go further, but then I got too lazy and I thought, okay, 22 kilometers for the second day is fine. And I found a nice guest house, so they let me check in at 11.30. Now I'm already all showered and I washed some stuff. And I have good Wi-Fi, so I think I'm just gonna hang out around the town a little bit. Well, this is the municipal albergue in Subiri. Uh, it looks it looks nice. I, I don't think they're opened yet. They're probably opening too. Uh, the municipal albergue is actually is closed. They're busy renovating it. Well, yeah, but there are many private albergues in the town. So if if uh, by the time you walk, the Camino Frances is not still it's still not opened. I think you just can check-in into a private one. Uh, this, is, this is my cool private uh, spot for today. Well, this is the, the house, the living area, the kitchen is there. As I said, there are only six rooms here, so my room is downstairs. And, um, all private room and a private bathroom and I have even this access to this garden outside uh, and luckily it's quite early it's not even 1 p.m yet so I have a whole day today to enjoy the private room Day three of the Camino Frances, and it's another early day. I started at 6.30. <laughs> yeah, today I'm walking to Pamplona. Well, I think I'm gonna stay there. And I uh, walk for 35 minutes. Uh, despite my expectation, I was, again, sort of uphill, up and down, up and down. So now I have to catch up my breath because I'm a really a morning person. So they do anything, <laughs> any activities in the early morning is quite tough for me. <sighs> it looks like it's gonna be a nice day. The sky is clear, probably can get a bit hot later. So it's better I just keep moving and hopefully I'll find a coffee shop or a restaurant where I can stop for, for coffee. I'm going strong still. I still have about eight kilometers to Pamplona and I think I'm gonna be early today again <laughs> before midday probably because just to start every day so early you not know, to to finish walking before it gets really hot. Today you can see it is clear skies and it's sunny. I think it's gonna be later it's gonna be really hot so that's why I want to be done and I want to have more time because there are many things to see in Pamplona and I've never been there. So I think maybe I'll just uh, put my stuff and go into some sightseeing.
So today somehow I walked really fast and I arrived at 11 in the morning to, to Pamplona and this is the Municipal Albergue and it opens only at 12. Yeah, we all a couple of pilgrims sitting and waiting. Luxury to budget. So yesterday I stayed in a nice private room and today I'm staying in a, in a municipal albergue for nine euro and it's a huge one. So you can see this is one row of beds. I think it's uh, more than a hundred beds in total, like 120 or something. I feel like I'm a professional pilgrim. So I went to shower, then I did my laundry, and I hang my clothes, I made my bed. So it's like half past 12 and I'm, I'm all done and I have free time to walk around Pamplona. And well, I have to do some shopping here because I lost my pajamas on the first day. So I don't really have anything to sleep in. I'm sleeping in my hiking clothes. So now I'm just gonna do some sightseeing and shopping. It's not easy to eat it, but it's really good. Oh. Cheers.